All right, guys. Uh, what's up? Dustin here, and today I'll be doing a very much wanted video, which is how to drive stick shift. So basically, what I'm going to get done today in this video is a uh, part one, which is just getting out of first gear, which is what most people have the most problem with. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how to get out of first gear and get going, because that's what uh, most people have the most trouble with. Okay, um, so to start out, we're gonna go ahead and talk about your RPMs. All right, so we're gonna start out with the RPMs. So what, how, this is the way I learned it. This isn't how necessarily the right way or the whatever way. This is how I learned, and so I'm gonna teach you guys how I learned. Okay, so what I did is I was taught to rev up to about 1500 RPMs and slowly release the clutch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the parking brake off and put my car in first gear. Cars in first gear. I'm gonna go ahead and rev very slightly until I get to 1500 RPMs and then slowly release the clutch. And there you go. You guys are rolling. Keep it on the clutch and slowly rev to 1500 RPMs and keep it there. And then slowly lift your foot off of the clutch. Okay, so for my lesson on how to drive stick, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for part one. Now what part two will consist of is how to shift your gears like in the second, the third, and which gear to shift to and which times. So I tried to explain this as thoroughly as I could uh, for part one, but since you guys are viewing this, it's not going to be how I think, it's going to be how you think. So what you guys want to see, all you have to do is just tell me in the comments or give me a message or uh, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, and just let me know what you guys want to see out of part two and how you'd like me to explain that more thoroughly. Also, I want to give a big thank you to uh, Shad Too Fast For You. Um, he actually photoshopped really, 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 really well a set of wheels that I was thinking about getting and he's an excellent, excellent photoshopper. So if you guys ever want anything photoshopped, go to this guy because he is absolutely great, guys. Um, I'll put his name right over here somewhere, uh, right there maybe. Um, give him a follow and ask him for anything you need Photoshop because he is great. Let me know if this helped you and let me know you want to see in part two. Uh, as soon as I get feedback, I will go ahead and put part two in the mix. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and viewing all my videos and liking and subscribing. Um, my channel has grown so much. I think I'm around 1,300 subscribers, which is unreal. I mean, I could have never guessed my channel would be that big when I first started. Um, but obviously you guys are liking what I'm putting out, so I'm gonna keep doing it for you guys, and you guys just need to keep telling me what to, what to do. Uh, also, if you, ha if you guys have any suggestions for little uh, DIYs, like uh, any little projects for me to do that you guys wanna see, just uh, let me know and I can definitely get on that because I need smaller projects to do because uh, for right now I think I'm pretty much done with all the big stuff that I want to do to my car after the hood. So um, maybe save up some more for something else big, I don't know. But for right now I'm pretty content with how my car is. I actually I actually really, really love it, love it right now. So uh, I'm looking for small projects to do. So if you guys have anything or any suggestions, just let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned and give me feedback on what you guys want next time.